Happy New Year, Bug Buddies! And I say Bug Buddies because I happen to have a character who is a changeling, and changelings look like buggy pony characters, so they're usually referred to as bugs. Which is also what I'm nicknamed on occasion, I'm nicknamed Bug. Or Shifty, thank you Steel the Warrior, aka Dryopt. Shifty was a fun little name that was given to me when I was wearing my changeling costume at a convention. Midwest Fur Fest. Awesome convention. So yeah, let's move on to resolutions, because this year is going to be a productive year. I have, as you've seen, relocated apartments. I wanted to mention this first, because you might be wondering why the background looks different. Well, we're still in the same apartment complex, but we're in a new apartment. Still the same roommates, but there's something else that's different. I have a new computer. So this means a powerhouse computer that can handle streaming, gaming, and much more. And make my videos get edited and rendered a lot faster. So right, what I'm going to do this year, I'm going to go back into CNC machining. CNC machining is a form of manufacturing, if you don't recall, or if you're first tuning into this channel, hello! But CNC is short for, um, <laughs> wow, stage fright, thanks for making me forget. Computer numerical control. There we go, I almost forgot it. Thank you, stage fright. Um, <laughs> things work out eventually. And speaking of working out, I'm gonna try and work out these guns a little bit because, well, as much as I try to get these biceps going, I need to get a little bit more tone. Therefore, I got this 25 pound weight a while ago, and I should be seeing some more usage than just the floor. Oh, hello, doorstop. Oh, that made me a little bit lightheaded. Man, I'm out of shape. <coughs> Anyways, 2016 was a bad year. I didn't get a lot of resolutions done out of that one. And if you have been wondering what happened with my boyfriend Jitterbug Jive, aka Bald Dumber Rat, aka Pierce Smolder, aka Jack, he went through a manic breakdown and has been diagnosed with bipolar 1 disorder. He is much better now and although he is currently in a low, he is getting slowly better. And I'm just making sure I can always help wherever possible and be there for him. Because I love you, GD. So, I also went through a lot of anxiety and depression myself and needed to get better. So I had to quit my CNC job at the time and find some filler work. So this was like pizza delivery for Domino's and then rent a center as a part-time delivery specialist. That's what I do right now, and I will be going into a new CNC job, as I said, which will be somewhere nearby, and, well, back in the field. I go. <laughs> so, I think I'm supposed to tell what happens in the new videos, or what videos are to come, with to be new videos. If you follow Ponies with Pockets Gaming, the subgroup for Ponies with Pockets Productions, as directed by my boyfriend, Jitterbug Jack. You will be seeing the rest of Undertale, finally, that was streamed back in 2015. My god, it's been too long. And you will also see more Minecraft videos that will actually be from this year. And with Minecraft being in character and the channel, we're gonna also have a hardcore series where the actors or cast or crew We'll all participate and, well, we'll see how we all survive. So this might mean more than one camera guy. But hey, it's gonna be fun. I recommend you watch it. They are linked in the description. Go over to his point. Go. Words. They're linked in the description. Ponies with Pockets Productions. And what you're gonna be seeing from myself in the Let's Play area. Well. You'll be seeing more streams on Twitch from me with other games, as myself and the Doctor. But first, I need to give you the late uploads for Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location, Soma, and Spooky's How- uh, Not House of Jump Scares, because of the name change. Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. Those videos will go up, and the replay of Undertale that I am doing 
because of the lost save from the original Dr. and Derpy Let's Play. I originally thought things would transfer and be on a cla the Steam Cloud, but suffice to say, that didn't happen, and I had to start over. Now, as feelsy as that game is, I want to still experience the good time that is Undertale, because I freaking love that game. Well, it's gonna be a series anyways. <laughs> so I may as well say series before we get the whole Five Nights at Freddy's effect. But speaking of Five Nights at Freddy's, I'm gonna finally finish Five Nights at Freddy's 1 through 4. As long as that might take, who knows. I'll probably have to skip around a little bit in some editing if things take too long. And, well, I know Five Nights at Freddy's World didn't do too well at first, but I'm gonna give it a try this year. And speaking of finishing things, I'm gonna finally frickin' finish Amnesia The Dark Descent because that thing has been waiting for a few years. I mean, like, my god, why did I last do something? Like, 2014? Well, no, that was the whole thing I was trying to do a let's make fun of thing that didn't really pan out so well. And I had to start over again anyway, is because, hey, lost saves! Congratulations. Uh, oh. Speaking of horror games, I'm gonna continue Spookies as well in the Endless Mode. And from what I did try from the Endless Mode, it was pretty spooky. <laughs> so yeah. More games, more games, more games, and continuation of Soma, and Outlast, because I know you guys love to watch me kind of freak out in Outlast when I finally got to the Wall Rider. Who was the Wall Rider? We'll find out. Oh, I hope I have my save for that game too. Otherwise, hey, new stream for a restart. Who knows what happens there? <laughs> But yes, if you are otherwise curious about the uh, in-character series Craft Craft of Five and Nian for Skyrim, who never showed up, those two characters are on the back burner and, well, I want to get a better system before I decide to go forward with those two guys. And with everything going on, I'm doing a lot. And I want to elaborate more on my characters, but that'll be for a separate video, so my characters usually see on the header of my channel. Those guys are my furry and brony personas, so if you're a furry or brony, hello and welcome! I will tell you more about those guys in another video, which is more specific than just another update. So, Gamiax. Wondering what happened with Gamiax? Well, Brotal and Total Gamiax will be reserved for reunion videos when either Tiberius or we visit each other from state to state, so either Oregon or Illinois. Man, it's a distance. But if you want to watch something more for the Gamiax section, watch Tiberius' channel over at Fancy Rabbits. He is hosting Brutal Gamiax for the more brutal video games. Now, brutal doesn't have to mean violent, it could mean brutal feels. That makes you feel like, oh my god, my heart. Yeah, he can be hosting some of that, and for one example, he's got Beyond Good and Evil and Layers of Fear going, so give him a watch. And what's going to be going on here, because I want to keep things specific, I'm going to be starting what's called Portland Gamiax. Portland Gamiax will be for this apartment, so this apartment will be doing what is called Portland Gamiax, and this means my roommates will be the buddies who otherwise hang out in Portland Gamiax. But if that's not enough for ya, I have a thing called Online Gamiax I'm also gonna start soon. This means if you have something like Steam, Origin, Battle.net, or any other type of gaming software or games in general, like even Minecraft possibly, I'm going to open up the door to say, hey, who wants to play with me? That sounded weird. Uh, don't think it, don't take that the wrong way, please. Please don't take that the wrong way, because I know as much as we like to be in the gutter as Pennywise. If you don't know who Pennywise is, watch the movie It or read the book It, because, well, the book is a bit more detailed than the movie. Right. Online Gamey Axe. That will mean that, though I might not be able to make you a little character to hang out next to the title, I will otherwise make sure that you are introduced and have your name somewhere listed. So it'd probably be something like my little character over here, and then John Smith and Jane Smith over here. It'll be probably be names, 
Or maybe some pictures. If you have an avatar, I could make that be in the video. So yeah, I want to share some fun with you guys since I've been kind of solo for the longest time when not doing stuff with Ponies with Pockets Productions. But yeah, that should probably about cover it. But yeah, follow Tiberius, my good brother. My brother from the same mother that I have not had good relations with. Um, I'm sure we'll work something out eventually. Eventually. But, let's move on to productions. Now, a little bit of the gaming section. I'll probably be doing some more theory stuff and do something called a conspiracy theory. Which will be a little bit over the top and just a little bit silly while still being slightly serious. Because honestly, some of these theory videos to me, sometimes they're kind of pushing it a little bit. Like, oh, this is related to this, this is related to that, so this is related to this. Illuminati. Uh, right. <laughs> I might only do... Uh, excuse me. I might only do that joke once. Man, that was almost offensive. I didn't want to say Jew a joke because that would be way offensive. Ooh, why did I even say that? I mean no offense, my stepmother's Jewish, I mean like, oi! God, I am really working myself into a hole here. Anyways, reactions! You remember those? Well, I've been meaning to do more reactions, and as a way to kind of consolidate things a little bit, please, if you have any suggestions on what to react to, please say so in the comment section. And I'm sorry if I can't get any annotations up on here appropriately, but that's a pain in the butt. I mean, I really hope that with Tiberius I can get his channel to work with a new card system since mobile doesn't do annotations since Google is lazy. Excuse me. Sorry, I'm running on out of gas, so I had to produce more. <laughs> um, Hoity McToity, remember that character? Well, he'll finally be getting his premiere this year as soon as I complete his art assets. So, yeah, look forward to that guy and finally getting a review character going. Now, he's gonna probably be my only review character because <laughs> this video is going on almost 13 minutes before recording, so I'm already doing a lot. <laughs> uh, if you are following Ponies with Pockets, they're sorry, Pony in a Box Productions, or Not My Division, I will be continuing my role as Trotson, the Sherlock Watson in the Pony Universe, BBC Sherlock Watson in the Pony Universe, My Little Pony. Wow, I went from Watson all the way over to McToidy again. Man, that's not, that's fun, especially when you're getting lightheaded trying to speak so much. <laughs> Anyways. I'm going to be consolidating my blogs a little bit to be my mod blog at jester.tumblr.com and Ask Mad Doctor Hooves. Mad Doctor Hooves. Ask him anything. Well, not too weird, you guys. I mean, like, seriously. But other than Maddie, I will also have Bubbleberry Answers. And for the Undertale friends, I will have a Serial Dreamer. You might be wondering what a Serial Dreamer is. It's a little bit of a personal blog, kind of like the other two in their own way. I mean, each character we produce, they're a proxy of ourselves. That's just how characters work. Whoops, bump the mic. Man, I should really be kind of doing better at these recordings. I'm like so professional. So, yeah, there will be consolidation, and any side blogs that I, I have and you have seen, those will get updated here and there sporadically. But I want to try and be frequent in at least one area, or, well, several areas as it is. And if you've been wondering whatever happened to that Five Nights at Freddy's song I was doing, well, that's finally going to get finished, because, well, I can't find my old hard drive in the uh, boxes you see behind me. I can't find my old hard drive, which had the exact file from the music program, but now I'm currently left with the MP3 and WAV file of the song, so I can't really add to it unless I add my lyrics, which I was meaning to add for the longest freaking time. 
So that will finally come out, <clears throat> and you'll see what story I gave Foxy. Yeah, it's a song about Foxy. Well, I'm thinking you can kind of tell I'm a fan. So yeah. Oh, sorry, I also kind of showed off my crystal and cross. This cross was from my dad. It, for me, it's a symbol of good faith and protection. And this crystal is from my friend Rhythm Render and his friends from when we were in Texas. And this also holds protection and a personal meaning. I hold things close to my heart, and I'm looking for the necklace which came from uh, Azula Griffin, or K.A. or A.K.A. Cyanocida Bladiday, A.K.A. Butterscotch Bird, and the other keychain I got from Skipper Otter. I hold things for my friends and family near and dear. Please note that I love you all. <laughs> and I always will. Whether we're not doing well, or if we are doing well, I will love you just the same. Because, well, we're friends and family, we gotta stick together one way or another. Other than that, I will be streaming my art and video editing over at Picarto. Picarto is a creative streaming website for like art, crafting, basically anything creative. So if you want to follow Jester de Rama, all one word over at Picarto, you can find you can find me occasionally doing my art stream or video editing stream. So I'm just gonna be everywhere having some fun and hope you can join me. And if you want to join me somewhere else, like in a chat program, I can't add you on Skype since I use that for project contacts. But I can have you in my Discord server listed below in the description. And over there, you can just say, Hey, Jester, what's up? You want to hang out? And I'll say, Sure, let's make up a time and go from there. Sorry, I'm adjusting myself a lot because I can see myself in my screen and I'm trying to make sure I stay in frame without being too crazy. <laughs> okay. I think that covers just about everything. And this is all going to be a pretty busy 2017, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm confident and productive now, and we're gonna be freaking awesome. And you know what? You're freaking awesome too. So you know what? Stay awesome. And if you like, please give a like over down here, wherever the little like thing is, or, well, I don't know, you don't have to like my videos. I might not be the best, but hey, I try my best. But yeah, if you want, like, share, subscribe, support through Patreon, or donations or otherwise and please give feedback that's how I learn and I'm always looking to learn because that's what I'm always doing when it comes to these videos and my jobs I want to say jobs because I consider this almost a job but it's a hobby it's a hobby that I love doing it's a hobby that I'm finding my passion again for and I'm happy about that so yeah I'm doing pretty good hope you guys do awesome too in 2017 and hopefully we'll survive the term of Trump. If he doesn't show a Trump car... Card! Trump card! My god, I try and be dramatic and my voice decides to crack. Kinda like my boyfriend's. He's going through HRT. So, HRT, that's hormone replacement therapy, which means he's getting his estrogen replaced with testosterone. And right now, his voice is cracking, so it's pretty adorable to hear him finally start transitioning into the man he was meant to be. And if you're wondering if I am specifically gay, I am not specifically gay. I am what's called demisexual. That means, once I build a strong emotional bond, there is the possibility for attraction. Until then, everyone's just a friend, and everyone's in the friend zone first. <laughs> That's just how I roll. But yeah, I'm a demi-guy. I exist. And if you don't think I exist in place of pansexuality, if I was pansexual, I'd have to be attracted to everyone off the bat. And I know love doesn't work like that, but that's kind of the definition. So yeah, all things aside, I think we should... Praise the Spurple. Praise the Spurple. Praise... So yes, 
That was started by my boyfriend as well. Thank you very much. But, hey! I think this is about time to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. See you guys next time. Love ya!